Gordon is a very proud steam engine. He loves to puff up and down his hill with the express gliding behind him. Pulling the express is his favorite job. He loves to chug through the beautiful countryside with the express. The countryside is one of his favorite places, as he puffs through it about three times a day with three different express trains. He loves when the passengers sing his praises. The fat controller knows that pulling the express is Gordon's favorite job, but when there is a very extra long freight train, he gets Gordon to pull it. This is much to Gordon's dismay, but unfortunately for him, this is the news that the Fat Controller brought one morning to the sheds. Gordon, I need you to take a very special freight train up over your hill to Marin's station. But sir, a freight train? A freight train? I can't pull a freight train. It's undignified, sir. I can't possibly- I'm sorry, Gordon. I have already made arrangements. Interrupted the Fat Controller. And really useful engines shall do as they are told, with no complaining. So Gordon did it. He puffed onto the turntable and puffed away. Unfortunately for Gordon, when there was a freight train, he didn't like to pull it. He was very annoyed. And the trucks were very heavy. They were filled with special gravel to make the new tracks leading to the castle. It's an undignified work. I can't possibly be pulling a freight train. What will become of the express if I never return? Absolutely ludicrous. I can't believe the fuck controller will actually let me do this. He knows that I love to pull the express. He just needs me to pull this heavy freight train. It'll be over soon, but I can't do it anymore. Come on, Gordon, there's only a few more miles. But Gordon didn't listen to his driver and soon stopped on his hill. I won't start. I won't go. I can't pull a freight train anymore. Gordon, you're not trying. Come on, we have to make it. We'll have to get a back engine then. The usual back engine for Gordon having to be pushed up his hill is Edward. But today, Edward had a very special passenger train heading to the mainland. Well, Edward, Gordon's stuck on his hill again, said Edward's driver. Would you like to pull him? Push him back up his hill? No, I won't. He can manage on his own. Huff. Well, Gordon, Edward can't come and push you back up your hill. I won't admit my, uh, uh, humiliating defeat. Then came Thomas, with a cheeky look on his face. Oh, so Gordon, you got stuck on your hill once again. Are those freight cars? I thought you were supposed to be pulling the express today. I was wrong, and Thomas puffed cheekily away. I will just have to manage by my own, huffed Gordon. So he tried. Come on, freight cars! Work with me! Ugh! I can't do this anymore! I will just have to stay here till another back engine comes. Then Emily passed by. Freight cars! Gordon was indignant. This can't be happening! Wake up, Gordon! This is a nightmare! It was a very long night for him. It was sleepless also, thinking of the humiliation that was going through his head. He tried and he tried, but he still couldn't do it. He tried to get it up his hill, but the train couldn't budge. Come on, come on, this is ridiculous. Soon, more bad news came. You've run out of water. Thomas will have to come with the tinker, sighed his driver. Thomas did come, and soon 
The tinker of water was filled up into his tender and boiler. Gordon soon made steam and tried again. Ugh, I, I, I can't budge. I can't move, driver. I'm being serious. I, I can't, I can't do it. The fat controller decided that he wanted to show some sympathy to Gordon, so he sent over Arthur to be the back engine. Hello, Gordon. Arthur? Is that you? Yes, and it's my first time being a back engine. I'm very excited. Oh, thank goodness I thought it was Edward, and that would have been totally humbling to my reputation. Don't worry, Gordon. We'll get you over the hill with just a couple of puffs. Come on. Let's do it. So Arthur pushed from behind, and Gordon tried his hardest, puffing up the hill. They soon began to get to the top, and Gordon was on his own. Arthur was never coupled, so Gordon just puffed away. We did it, we did it, sighed Arthur. He was satisfied. But that evening, when Gordon came back to the sheds, he told the engines the whole humiliating story. Oh, God and God and God and sighed, Spencer. We shouldn't call that hill your hill. We should call it Emily's hill or Arthur's hill. They always make it up. No problem at all. I can agree, said Emily. I think that we probably should tell this to the Fat Controller. <laughs> That's pretty funny, said Thomas. I don't know, though. That might not be the best idea. Well, answered Arthur, I think that we should keep it Gordon's hill. Because we should pay tribute to Gordon. He can puff up his hill three times a day with the express. No problem. This is just an unfortunate time for him. I think we should keep it. And all the engines agreed happily.